There's been a lot of rumors about Max Verstappen going to Mercedes. I've got some thoughts about it. Let's talk about it. We're one race into the year, and Red Bull just won by nearly half a second, and so everything should be completely fine in Milton Keynes, but things are actually the exact opposite. This all started when the Christian Horner allegations came out, and the whole time that the allegations have been around, things have been kind of weird, a little fishy. We don't know exactly what's going on. There's been a whole lot of rumors floating around, some rumors saying it's just been aggressive management style, and some rumors saying that it's been things that are completely worse, but they had an internal investigation. He was cleared of any wrongdoing, and we thought it was time to just move on. It was all done before the season. He was at the car launch. Testing happens. Red Bull did their own investigation. We hear that Christian Horner is cleared of any wrongdoing, and we say it's time to get racing on track. Well, we show up in Bahrain. The season is about to start. Boom. Big Google Drive folder leak. Uh, it's sent to hundreds of people in the paddock. We don't know where that leak came from. We've heard some names that have been rumored to have sent out that Google Drive, but supposedly the drive contained pictures and text that Christian Horner sent with this Red Bull employee who made the complaint. And supposedly, this is evidence that says Christian Horner is guilty. Uh, obviously, Christian Horner completely denies that, and there really isn't any proof that says this evidence is reliable and real in any way, but it did show that this whole situation was way further from over than we originally thought that it might be. A big key player in this whole situation of this Red Bull drama and is it going to lead to Max Verstappen going to Mercedes has been Max Verstappen's dad, Jos Verstappen. There's been a lot of talks of tensions within the team that have been coming from him. He's been very vocal during this whole situation, talking to a lot of different news outlets, really whoever will listen to him and telling them that there is tons of tension within the team. Uh, Christian Horner is ripping this team apart from the inside, that he's playing the victim when he's really the one who's guilty and that it's impossible for Red Bull to continue moving forward in its current state with Christian Horner at the helm. Uh, now, why is this important? Uh, we don't really know if Josh Verstappen is a reliable source or not. He could be. He could not be. We don't know. Uh, we've heard a lot of different things from Josh Verstappen over the years, and, and some things have been true, but some things have been very untrue as well. And we know that uh, while he might not be the most reliable source or might not have the most pertinent information to the situation, he is someone who has a lot of influence over what Max Verstappen does in his racing career and has had that influence over his son Max's career uh, for the duration of his racing career. And so uh, if Jos isn't happy in the team, you know, what is he going to be telling Max? What kind of effect is that going to have on Max within the team? We don't really know. Uh, there was pictures from Bahrain that showed Jos and, and Christian in what appeared to be in a very heated discussion. Uh, obviously, we don't know what was said or the, or the tone of that discussion, but uh, it appears that they're in a very heated argument with each other. And it's gone so far that... Uh, Joseph Verstappen isn't in Saudi Arabia this week, and so definitely a, uh, an interesting development to continue to watch between Joseph Verstappen and how he plays into this whole situation. Another person that is really important to this situation is Helmut Marko. Obviously, he and Max Verstappen have a close relationship as he was integral in getting Max involved into Formula One so early and having Max get that Toro Rosso seat and then having Max replace Daniel Kvyat when he was so young and have that seat at Red Bull. Apparently, there's a clause in Max Verstappen's contract that says if Helmut Marko leaves, Max can leave. Um, and when asked about it publicly, Helmut Marko said that he wouldn't stand in Max's way if Max wanted to leave. That could mean a couple different things. One, it could be that he's so confident that Max isn't going to leave that he just said that to maybe get the reporters off his back. But it could also mean that Helmut Marko is considering leaving because of the situation. It could mean that Helmut Marko could see other personnel leaving because of the situation that would cause Max to leave, or that Helmut Marko is just so old that he doesn't really care what happens because he's gone in a few years anyways. Adrian Newey. If he leaves, there's probably a chance that Max leaves as well. Uh, there's been rumors that if Christian Horner stays, Helmut Marko and Adrian Newey are both gone. Uh, Adrian Newey has obviously been the mastermind behind a lot of Red Bull's success. He's been designing wonderful cars for them ever since he took the job, and the aerodynamic masterpiece that he produced this year is incredible. If he leaves, there's really no 
guarantee that Red Bull are going to continue to be successful. When Adrian Newey took a step away at the beginning of the turbo hybrid era, that was when Red Bull in 2015 produced the worst car that we've seen from them in years. And so if I was Max Verstappen, I wouldn't be super confident that if Adrian Newey steps away, the team is fully prepared and equipped to continue having this level of success that they're having right now. But if you take all of this together, is that even enough for Max Verstappen to want to leave Red Bull and go to Mercedes? He has won countless races over the last three seasons. It looks like the dominance is going to continue into 2024, maybe even 2025. They've got a Ford partnership upcoming, making uh, their own engines just for Red Bull. And so things are looking bright for Red Bull without this little stain on it that is this whole situation. So is this enough to make Max Verstappen lead Mercedes? Well, maybe. Let's talk about some of the smaller issues about it. First off, Max has a contract with Red Bull until the end of 2028, but we know that contracts in Formula 1 don't necessarily mean all that much. We've seen contracts torn up, thrown away countless times over the past couple of seasons, and if Lewis Hamilton's move to Ferrari means anything, it's that truly anything can happen in this driver market this year. Uh, There's rumored to be Break clauses in that contract for different things. One that has been very prevalent recently has been that if Helmut Marko leaves, Max Verstappen can leave. And with there being some traction behind that rumor, maybe that's a clause he can get out of. Um, But just because he has a contract until the end of 2028 doesn't necessarily mean that Max Verstappen will be racing for Red Bull until the end of 2028. Would he even want to go to Mercedes? Eh. Maybe they're a team that has won in the past uh, and their operation that they ran when they were running would point to believing that they could regain some of that strength that they had and will eventually get back on uh, their championship winning form. In 2024, uh, their car looks to be improving. They've gotten on top of these regulations and they look to be um, one of the top teams this season. We've seen uh, them perform better in Bahrain at the hands of George Russell than maybe we expected them to perform and it's looking like their car is headed in the right direction. One concern with that could be that if they've been spending all this time, money, resources, and effort to get on top of this regulation change, then they're going to be behind the eight ball for the next regulation change that's coming in 2026. However, the flip side to that is that It's kind of similar to when Lewis Hamilton moved to Mercedes in 2013. People thought Lewis Hamilton was crazy. McLaren was still one of the top teams at the time. He had won his championship with McLaren. And and going into this new regulation change, we didn't know what was going to happen. But there was a glimmer of hope that Mercedes were going to get it right. Could this be the same situation for Max Verstappen, that he sees something in Mercedes knowing that they're getting it right for the next regulations, that Mercedes say, we're off the pace at this regulation, we're not going to win a championship, let's start putting our resources into the next regulation change, and if that's the case, then Max Verstappen's move to Mercedes could end up seeing him continue his dominance with a different team into this new regulation change. I don't think Max Verstappen cares about this necessarily, but he also would be able to silence any critics that say he's only winning because he has the best car or because he's at Red Bull or Red Bull caters to him completely. If he goes to a different team and replicates his success in what might not be the best car, then truly there is no one who can say that Max Verstappen isn't one of the greatest drivers of all time anymore. Would Mercedes even want Max Verstappen if he was on the market? I think absolutely they would. He is a three-time world champion. He's one of the fastest drivers on the grid. They would be crazy not to want him. Obviously, they said that they didn't want to sign Lewis Hamilton to a long-term contract because they were saving room for Kimi Antonelli, but is he really going to be ready in 2025, or would you want to have Max Verstappen in that seat for 2025? If you look at them face value right now, where the drivers will be in that season, and even the next two or three seasons, because Kimi Antonelli is a very very young driver. He's very talented, very quick, but it takes some time to get up to speed in Formula 1. And if you're saying we want a driver right now who's going to be able to replace Lewis Hamilton and bring us some measure of similar success, then Max Verstappen is the best driver equipped to make that move for Mercedes. I also don't know if Mercedes are convinced that George Russell is the driver of the future. Going into the year, I wasn't convinced, but so far he's looked very good in 2024. But he 
had an incredible first year with the team, and then last year kind of dropped off and seemed off the pace. There was a sizable gap to Lewis Hamilton, and he didn't look like the George Russell we were used to seeing in the Williams in his first year in Mercedes. If he has a good year this year, then maybe it will be enough to convince the team that he should be the driver for the future. But right now, I still think there are a lot of question marks around George Russell, and if he has the ability to bring championships to Mercedes if they had a championship-winning car. If Mercedes as a team has any doubts about George Russell and his ability to bring them championships, then trying to go get Max Verstappen, a proven winner, a proven champion, would be a very wise move for them. If Max Verstappen leaves, Red Bull will find themselves in a quite a serious situation in the driver market. We've spent so much time talking about Red Bull's 2025 seats only because we think Sergio Perez should be replaced. That's a very wide-held opinion that he just hasn't been cutting it at his time in Red Bull, specifically in this new regulation change. And really, uh, last year, you could see that he was so far off the pace of Max. And with teams continuing to catch up, the grid continuing to get closer, Sergio Perez's seat uh, was very much so under risk this season. But if Max Verstappen leaves, Red Bull find their 2025 seat discussion to uh, be in a whole new light. Let's talk about some of their options. I think Carlos Sainz is the very clear option for the second Red Bull seat. He is out of a seat in 2025 because Lewis Hamilton moved to Ferrari, and so he definitely needs a drive for 2025, and I think he should have a drive for 2025. I think the stake seat is available to him if he wants it, but I wouldn't be surprised if as a driver, seeing where the team is this year and not being guaranteed success with Audi's entry, I think he might want to look elsewhere. He has Red Bull ties. He used to be in the Red Bull family. And even though he didn't leave there on the best of terms, Red Bull have shown in recent years that they're willing to bring drivers outside of the Red Bull Academy or drivers who used to be in the Red Bull Academy back into the fold of the team, especially if they're performing well or they believe that they'll perform well in the future. Based off the first race of 2024, Carlos Sainz is coming out with a speed that we haven't seen from him before. And I think if he continues up this pace through the first half of the season before the summer break when a lot of contract talks happen, I think he could definitely poise himself to have a run at one of the Red Bull seats in 2025 and would be maybe the best option out there right now to replace Max Verstappen if he leaves. Another option could be Alex Albon. He was in the Red Bull family before, just like Carlos Sainz was, uh, but he left maybe a little bit more unceremoniously than Carlos Sainz did after some poor performances in Red Bull. I think he's shown at Williams that the performances weren't due to a lack of speed, but maybe he just wasn't ready for the main Red Bull seat, and making that transition uh, during the COVID year might not have helped his case either, but that's a discussion for another day. Right now, Alex Albin is performing incredibly well at Williams. Uh, he has said that he would like to stay at Williams, and Williams have said that they would like Alex Albin to stay, but if a top team like Red Bull came knocking to be their number one driver, I feel like it would be really hard to turn that down. There's also been rumors that Red Bull offered Max or er, <laughs> not Max Verstappen, uh, offered Alex Albin a three-year-long contract to start in 2025 to drive alongside Max Verstappen. Uh, I don't think that really happened. I, I don't think there was any credence to that rumor, and it's kind of died off. But if there is any truth behind it, that they had talks with Alex Albin for a contract, um, anything like that, then you could definitely see them returning to Alex Albin when it comes time to replace Max Verstappen in 2025. Another option, the one you guys want to hear me talk about, Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, I think he's definitely an option for 2025. I think he was already an option that a lot of people in Red Bull wanted for 2025 to drive alongside Max Verstappen. I think he was the front runner to replace Sergio Perez. If you put performances aside, I think he is a figure that a lot of people in the team wanted to have that seat. If Max Verstappen leaves to go to Mercedes, I think Daniel Ricciardo should be towards the top of the top uh, short list of drivers that could replace him. Not only would he provide experience to the team, he's won races with them, he is very comfortable in a Red Bull designed car, but I also think it would do wonders for the team uh, in their PR. And I don't want to diminish Daniel down to just a PR figure because that is a lot of what he was when he came back to Red Bull as a third driver, and he is now a full-fledged Formula One driver in the Red Bull family again. 
But with this whole Christian Horner situation, with them losing their world champion and him breaking his contract to go to a rival team, Daniel Ricciardo moving to that team would not only shed a lot of positive light on the brand, but I think would also uh, make a lot of fans feel a lot better about the move because they would have one of their favorite drivers back at the team and it would make the loss of Max Verstappen hurt a little bit less uh, for the brand and for the fans. And I think we have to talk about Sergio Perez in this section too, because he was already at risk of losing his seat for 2025, but if Max Verstappen leaves, does that mean that his seat is safe? That for the sake of some continuity, they would keep Sergio Perez and just replace Max Verstappen? Or because Sergio Perez's seat was already at at risk and he's already underperforming within the team, do they, they look somewhere else and just hope that they hit the jackpot with two new drivers? I think it's important to ask that if Max Verstappen wasn't at the team this year, 2024, Max Verstappen not there, are we confident that Sergio Perez would win the world championship? I'm not confident that that would happen. I think it would be an incredibly close fight, but I don't think Sergio Perez has been consistent enough in that Red Bull to win a world championship. So if Max Verstappen is out of the picture for next year and the years after that, are we confident that Sergio Perez would win a championship then against a different driver? Maybe there might be less pressure on him, but if another driver came in, like a Carlos Sainz, who is known for his consistency during the race and over the course of a season, I think Sergio Perez faces the same deficit to that driver as well. And so while it might be in Sergio's best interest to stay at Red Bull, that's where he's going to get the most wins and and be in uh, a championship-winning car for the most time in his career, but I don't know if Red Bull would want Sergio Perez or trust him to be the number one driver in that team if it came to it. Let's wrap this up by going over what I think will happen. I think Max stays with Red Bull. With all of these rumors swirling around, we haven't heard anything concrete. And as it stands right now, I think Max Verstappen is happy within the team. I think he has a great relationship with GP, his engineer. I think he has a great relationship with Christian Horner, with Helen Marco, with all the higher-ups in the team. And I think that they very much so want Max Verstappen to stay in that team. And I think Max Verstappen will stay as long as he's promised to win. You know, he signed that contract until 2028 because he figured that he might be done with F1 by then. He might want to retire by then. And so if he already has in his mind that he's going to have a relatively short Formula One career, then I think for him, he just wants to stay where he knows he'll be winning and winning championships the most during that time. I think Mercedes will probably sign a driver to a one-year contract to race alongside George Russell while they wait for Kimi Antonelli. Um, I think I'm not as confident in this prediction. I think them getting Kimi Antonelli in there for 2025 to get some experience in the car, in the team, in Formula One racing before the regulation changes in 2026 could be useful. But I also think if they get another driver to drive alongside George Russell for a year, whether it be Carlos Sainz, whether it be... Alex Albin, I could see Kimi Antonelli having that Williams seat in 2025 for a year to get ready to move up alongside George Russell in 2026 as we go into the new regulation change. I think that would make a lot more sense for Mercedes as a team to let him have experience at a smaller team like Williams and allow them to still have a chance to fight for uh, constructors points in 2025 without having to sacrifice one side of the team for the sake of experience. Uh, But we're really up in the air about that one and we'll have to see what happens when and so this season really kicks off this year. I think unless Christian Horner is really proven guilty from this Google Drive length and maybe continued investigations, I think we'll end up forgetting all about this next year when it comes time to Bahrain. And maybe that's not the right response. Maybe it, it isn't what shouldn't happen. None of us really know what happened behind the scenes, and we're not the ones to pass judgment along. But the reality is, is we've seen controversies happen in Formula One before. We've seen controversies happen in Red Bull before. How many of you guys truly remembered the controversial remarks that Helmut Marko said about Sergio? Perez last year. I know that this reminded me of them, but it wasn't something that I consciously remembered. And I think that this whole situation, unless some crazy turn happens, unless another investigation opens up, unless Christian Horner is found guilty, that this is probably just something else that will eventually blow over over the course of the year, especially if Red Bull keeps winning. Let us know what you think down below of this whole situation of if Max Verstappen will end up at Mercedes and who you think will replace him at Red Bull going into 2025. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you haven't already, follow us on social media. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, wherever you listen to podcasts. We would love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.